feel a little bit of an opening here for the Texans now. They're down 13. Can they get a stop right here? Jackson sacked. And it's Anderson. We haven't really called his name or said much about him in this game, but look at how he gets underneath the pads of Moses, able to turn that corner, fight off the hold, and then get Jackson to the ground. I, you know, I said it early to start this game. You hate to use the word can't miss. Brandon McManus from 48 was off the mark. From 51, and it's blocked by the Texans. Will Anderson Jr. with the block, and the ball is still loose at the 41-yard line. He's lined up right over here. Watch him break through, break free, get the hands up, blocks it, and almost gets a scoop and score. Big man getting up. Number three overall. If you're the Houston Texans defense, they're playing their safeties high, so most likely some form of zone. They keep it on the ground, and Warren is buried. To'o, to'o, just you see it, and you hit it. No hesitation. Why, like Grenard, did you see what Grenard? Mm. Was that Grenard again? Grenard just took backfield the rookie sensation Bajan Robinson he gets the call on the first play but that Texans defense is up to the challenge a flag coming in here as well so back-to-back -back flags to start the game it's time the Texans front is there and ready just not much room to maneuver for Tyler Algier has changed. Not by his 10th season as Camaro goes nowhere. Will Anderson Jr. making the tackle. And they'll change responsibilities, but they weren't able to get that call in there. 19 yards for Blackshear, and then on the very next play, they go in the wrong direction. A loss of two, three, the top picks. He made the play. Yeah, and this is what Tomiko Ryan's told us, that he's really been happy, and Will Anderson knows. And he was booting it today from 60 in practice this way. A third down. Murray pitches a few times, and he's going down. Well, maybe a little farther out of field goal range now. That was Will Anderson with the sack. And your kicker gives you the ability to sit in the pocket. Like, you know, hey, he could come in and knock down these 60 yarders, so I can look down the field and try to make a play. Play clock down to two. Connor hit the backfield. Connor is thrown down. Will Anderson, the rookie. Third pick overall. Basketball guys with the first step quickness. Will Anderson has that first step quickness off the line of scrimmage. You might want to block him. I don't know what, <laughs> yeah. I, I don't know what the scheme was designed, but a guy with that kind of quickness, I'm not going to let him go free into the backfield. Percent of the time on third downs. He's a big reason they've been so good on third down. ETN trapped in the backfield and brought down. Will Anderson, the rookie, makes the play. Who just can't get him cut off. Stops ETN in the backfield. It's hard for these tight ends sometimes to take on these really good edge rushers. Now, Will Anderson's only a rookie out of Alabama. Samaje Piran was very effective last week in the win over Cleveland. He's in there. Wilson looking. Wilson takes the sack. And it's Anderson who gets home. Comes Anderson up here, but Rankins on the inside gets pushed as well, number 98. And Anderson just beats him upfield. And a nice little bull rush. He got better leverage underneath Mike McGlinchey, number 69, able to push him back when he extended his hand. Who has eight red zone touchdowns this season. Wilson fakes the pitch. Wilson is dumped by Anderson. He's been everywhere for Houston. That's called game wrecker. And sometimes I think we overuse it. But in this situation, number 51, Will Anderson, has been doing that from the first snap of this game. Oh, Jeff Munkin, head coach at Army. That's my guy. There you go. On first down from the 20. And that one intercepted. Wilson turns it over. Stingley, three straight games with a pick. Let's take a look. Anderson going through. And then the ball wobbles out. I think Anderson deflected it on the back end in the pocket. And Stingley on the spot. And remember, here's Anderson, 51. Yes, sir. He got a fingernail on it, and it changed the wobble. It turned the spiral into a wobble right there.
See, I knocked it off. And there's Stingley. And you remember when he got drafted ahead of Sauce Gardner and people thought, huh? I think Houston is very... Andrew Dillard in at that left tackle spot in for Jalen Duncan, who's done a tremendous job today. Tannehill's going to be sacked back at the 46. Will Anderson Jr. with his sixth sack of his pro career. He's going to try and get a little chip action on the edge, and that's going to disrupt the block of the previously mentioned Andrew Dillard as he comes out. You have to be careful with those chips because sometimes it keeps that lineman from getting squarely on the defender. That's what happened there. Tennessee uses their last... From the 45, blitz is on him, and he's going to be sacked. It's Will Anderson <laughs> Of the hands, off of the edge, as he's working again against Andrew Dillard, smacks those hands. Split safety again. Njoku might be the go-to guy here. Here comes the pressure. Flacco goes down. Grenard got there first. Anderson cleans it up. And a big loss for Cleveland. The right tackle off. Watch this move. Clubs the hands off, gets to Flacco first. Anderson there to finish it off. And again, these two guys didn't even play. Grenard played the first three games. Go off with Flacco under center. Instead, they're going to run it with Kareem Hunt to the outside. He won't get there. Anderson, Cashman, Harris, all in the area. And the group tackle to bring down the running back. It's fourth down. Neither does this guy. Watch how heavy-handed he is in the run defense. Takes on the block of Nick Harris, fights it off. Here is Edwards bottled up. He's had a big year scoring touchdowns, 13 touchdowns.